In this video, we're going to look at the split function in Google Sheets. This function does exactly what you think it would. It splits out a string of data into multiple columns based on a delimiter that you specify. So you can see here in this first example in column A, I have a data set of inventory records and each block of data is separated by a comma. So we have the inventory ID number, comma, quantity on hand, comma, cost per unit. And in this first example, we're just going to use the split function to parse out this data based on our comma delimiter. So the first input is the text string or cell reference that we want to split out. The next input is our delimiter, which is going to be a comma. The third and fourth arguments are optional. They are both true by default. So the third argument split by each is referring to situations where you have multiple delimiters. In this case, we only have one, but if we had say a star and then a comma, this third argument would be relevant. If it's true, what we're saying is treat each one of these as a separate delimiter, meaning any time there's a star, delimit the data. Any time there's a comma, delimit the data. If we input a value of false here, what this would mean is we want to delimit on the pattern star comma. So since we have just a single comma as our delimiter, this third argument really doesn't matter. True, the default value is fine. I'll cover an example of this later in the video. This last argument, remove empty text, is referring to situations where you have consecutive of the same delimiter in a row. So like if our data had like two commas here, we would indicate whether or not we want to treat those consecutive delimiters as one delimiter or treat them as multiple delimiters. So in this case, the third and fourth arguments aren't relevant, so the default values are fine here. And when I input this formula, you can see it splits out the data anytime there's a comma to delimit the data. So now down here in these examples, what I want to do is look at this third argument. So we have split, we have our text or cell reference. Our delimiter this time, what we're going to use is the abbreviation for inventory, which you can see it appears multiple times in the text, and also comma. So if we input the default true value here, it's going to split that out anytime there's either one of those two because it's saying delimit the data on any of these characters. So now what if we did this and changed this third argument to false? The only place it delimits the data is this last part right here, INV comma. Because we input false in this third argument, it's saying only delimit on this pattern, this string of data as our delimiter. In this next example, we're going to look at the fourth argument of the split function. So you can see I have a small data set of employee names here, and some of these employees have a middle initial and some do not. And the ones that do not have just a blank. So we have a situation where we have consecutive delimiters in a row, and we need to specify how we want to treat that. So I'm going to insert the split function again. Have our cell reference, 
our delimiter is comma again. I'm going to go with true for split by each. And then for this final argument, I'm going to begin with a value of true and show you what that looks like. So when we input true, we treat those consecutive delimiters for the people who don't have a middle initial as one single delimiter. And that's exactly what it does. Now, in a situation like this, you would probably want to go with false because that's going to treat them each as their own delimiter and therefore leave an empty space in the spot where there's nothing between those two consecutive delimiters and that's what we want because we want the last name to line up with the other people that actually have middle initials. In this final example I'm going to show how you can combine the split function with the regex replace function so that we can just extract the first and last name each in separate columns. So we want the first name only in this column and the last name only in this column because we have some people who have middle initials and some who don't and we just really want to get the first and last name for all. So we're going to begin with our split function again. This time for the text argument we're going to insert the regex replace and what this function does is it takes a string and then we specify a pattern that we want to look at to see if it's found and then replace it with something else if that pattern is found. What we want to find is a pattern of space uppercase letter period space and we just want to replace that with a space. So what we have here is a space and then in brackets we have A through Z uppercase because it's uppercase so any alpha character that is uppercase and then we need a period after that but in the regex replace function period means something else so we have to use a backslash and then a period because this tells it okay we want the literal meaning of the period here so I have another space because that's our pattern so we have a pattern of space uppercase single letter and then a period and another space and then what do we want to replace it with we just want to replace it with space because in this example space is going to be the, the delimiter of our split. So our delimiter is going to be space here and really that's all we need because the default values for these third and fourth arguments is true and we only have one delimiter which is a space and then we want to treat consecutive delimiters as one. So really the defaults are fine here and when I hit enter this puts the first name in column B and the last name in column C. Well that is all for now. Please remember to hit that subscribe button.